What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 wrestlers who are future megastars in WWE. Now, there are some wrestlers that are gaining uh, some popularity and notoriety, especially with the fans and hopefully uh, with uh, the uh, the people in the back behind the scenes like uh, Triple H and, and, you know, and the people that can help get these stars to a whole nother level. I think the one person we can all kind of think of immediately off the top of our heads is LA Knight. The dude is over. Even though he hasn't really been booked the best, I can I can be fair there. He is over. People love them some LA Knight, bro. He's a heel, but people find him entertaining. He's great on the microphone, not bad in the ring. He has the potential to really be a really big star in WWE if they use him correctly. And I hope they do because I, I do think he could potentially be a future mid-card champ to a uh to a world champion if if utilized correctly so we're going to check out some of these wrestlers that could potentially be big mega stars in WWE, uh, wwe going forward and see if we agree with uh what Res uh wrestlemania uh has to say about these individuals appreciate all love and support we're let's get in the into this of one. a new era in wwe triple h now has the reins of wwe creative and lots <clears throat> of changes have been implemented across the wwe product mm -hmm. one of the most exciting things about the current product is just how many young talented stars they have on the roster they have countless names they can build a future of the company around, and some of them are God destined to reach Dominic. the top of the WWE ladder. So join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the next big WWE megastars. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Braun Brecker. On paper, Braun, Braun Brecker seems Braun to be the Breaker, perfect man. WWE superstar. He has a tremendous look and is the son of Rick Steiner as well as nephew of former WCW World Champion Scott Steiner. Mm -hmm. He's been in NXT since 2021 and he continues to grow and prosper in every match he's placed on. WWE have put a lot of responsibility on his shoulders as he's virtually the face of the entire NXT mm -hmm. brand. And this could have seriously damaged Brecker's credibility and legitimacy as a top guy if it backfired. Thankfully, though, he's excelled in the role, and it's evident that Brecker is going to be an absolute megastar when he's eventually called up mm -hmm. to the main roster. They're Number nine, him for Butch. Sure. Butch, a.k.a. Pete Dunn, has a reputation for being one of the best wrestlers. Now, I heard eventually they're supposed to be getting rid of the separating the brawling brutes, and he should be going back to his uh, Pete Dunn uh, persona. That's the rumors being told that should be happening later on this year. Um, honestly, I, 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 you know, I'm looking forward to that. Him being on that solo kind of grind to become, uh, maybe, you know, depending on what championship he goes for. But I think that would be interesting for him to get his solo career going again, man. Cause what he was doing in NXT UK was pretty phenomenal, bro. In the world. His in-ring work mm. is consistently stellar, and despite an infamous name change on the main roster, Butch has continued to show that he has the makings to be a top star for WWE. With Triple H now running creative and Triple H admitting how big of a fan he is of the former NXT UK champion, it's only a matter of time before Butch ascends up the card in WWE. The 2023 Money in the Bank pay-per-view mm -hmm. is set to take place in London, England, and with Butch being English, fans are already speculating that he could be a firm favourite to win the illustrious matchup. Could be. Number 8, Roxanne Perez. At just 21 years old, Roxanne Perez has already cemented herself as the future of the women's division in WWE. Her in-ring work is a standard of a 10-year veteran, and it's insane to believe that Perez has only been in WWE for one single year. Damn. Within months of Perez wrestling on NXT, there were calls from fans to see Perez called up to the main roster. There were and continue to be calls to see Perez wrestle the likes of Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair because mm -hmm. she already has everything it takes to be the face of the women's division in WWE. She would win the NXT women's title in late 2022, and it was made clear that NXT officials wanted Perez to become the new focal point of the NXT women's division. So it looks like a main roster call-up isn't on the horizon just yet. I can yet. definitely see that. However, with Perez being just 21, the future is bright, and WWE clearly know that they have a special talent on their hands. When she was in the Royal Rumble, fans were very receptive of her. So, I, hey, hey man, I, I, I do think uh, HBK 
has uh, especially, you know, he you can tell his influence is definitely uh, <laughs> has been passed on to her. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure that, you know, they have a pretty close relationship, you know, her and Triple H. So I, I can see them, uh, you know, bringing her up to the main roster and her getting a, a, a pretty good push. They need more women on both sides of Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. So she could definitely be a help towards the main roster. Number seven, Pretty Deadly. Pretty Deadly consists of Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Not familiar with them. taken NXT by storm over the past year. Both members are in their 20s and their tag team work has already received widespread acclaim. <laughs> Simply put, Damn. Pretty Deadly are the future of tag team wrestling in WWE as they are an exciting, charismatic team that the check them fans out. are truly going to resonate with. Their work with the New Day has received particular praise as Pretty Deadly have held their own and Kofi Kingston acknowledged the talents of both Prince and Wilson during an interview with Sports Illustrated. Pretty Deadly are so talented and they're going to be even bigger than they are now. It's all about getting experience and getting in there with experienced superstars then spreading their wings to fly. Anything we could do to help that, we're here for it. That's we want awesome. them to flourish. That's what we're here to do. I'm looking forward to mixing it up with them again. Number six, That's Carmelo nice though, Hayes. Man. Since debuting on NXT in 2021, definitely Carmelo seen Hayes some of his work for sure. Fan favorite. Hayes is one of the most exciting, thrilling wrestlers in NXT, and there continues to be demand to see Hayes called up to the main roster. Hayes has every tool it takes to be a top star on the main roster. The only thing holding him back is head of NXT Shawn Michaels, who doesn't want to see him go because he is that important to NXT's brand and vision. Mm. One legend who has spoken at length about the talents of Hayes is Booker T. Booker, who is a commentator on NXT, has seen firsthand just how gifted Hayes is. And this is what Booker had to say on an edition of his Hall of Fame podcast. Carmelo Hayes, uh, he's one of the guys that I want to see get to that next level and and, mm. and literally just kick it in. I want to see this dude, you know, um, on that next level. In order to get to that next level, you know, you got to have somebody in your ear sometime mm -hmm. telling you how good you are. You know what I mean? Um, like patting you on the back and say, man, that mm -hmm. was a hell of a job. You know what I mean? I, no, no, I need more of this, not that. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I... It's, it's good to know that there are people backing him. And this is it's really good just to see that they're, they're flourishing so well in NXT. And, and hopefully that translates over to the main roster. Granted, you got Triple H holding down the main roster. So that should make it that much easier of a transition for these talents to come from NXT and really flourish on the main roster. So... Uh, the casual fan can get more acquainted with them and actually be like, okay, I need to check these guys out. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do next. So Sokoa. The Clash at the Castle 2022 saw the main roster debut of this Solo was Sokoa. nice addition Sokoa to the bloodline. had moderate success on NXT and he was being thrown in at the deep end as he would instantly become a member of Roman Reigns' bloodline stable. And his work. Sokoa has thrived in his role as his persona of a menacing, silent enforcer has been applauded by fans and his in-ring work seems to be growing week by week. Mm -hmm. Sokoa's association with his cousin and brothers in the bloodline stable have given him a rare platform to become an instant star and mm -hmm. to credit Sokoa he has offered something unique and different to an already popular stable. He's set for a huge 2023 and there are already rumors of him being a firm favorite to capture the Money in the Bank briefcase in the summer and possibly even dethroning Roman Reigns. That's interesting. Before, LA. I've, been, I've been seeing those rumors. If you hear some uh, noise in the background, uh, someone's cutting the hedges over here by my window. So that's what's happening right now. <laughs> but nah, um, yeah, I am definitely... Um, been seeing those rumors of maybe Solo Sokoa being the guy to maybe dethrone Roman if Cody doesn't do it. Who knows? But, but they have been protecting him. He has not lost a match yet, and that is very good. You know, he he seems to have some promise going into the future, man. Night. Of course, LA, LA Night debuted on the main roster. Fans were disappointed that WWE had decided to repackage the talented star. Knight would become Max Dupree and would lead a male modeling agency. It was awful. The gimmick fell flat, and Triple H quickly realized that he needed LA Knight to simply be, well, LA, LA Knight. Knight. Yes. The lackluster gimmick was eventually dropped, and Knight was allowed to use his old NXT persona on the main roster. Which and is since great. reverting to the LA Knight persona, his work on the main roster has been outstanding, and his promo and character work has been some of the finest on display across the yeah. entire company. <laughs> Knight has been involved in a heated rivalry with Bray Wyatt, and he's managed to shine while still managing to keep an aura around Wyatt's character and mystique. 
WWE see big things for Knight, and it was apparent on the Raw 30th show as Knight shared the ring with The Undertaker, which is a clear sign that he's set for superstardom. Number three, Montez Ford. Mm. There's been no secret that Montez yeah. Ford has aspirations to become world champion in WWE. Ford brings a lot of life to the WWE product and his in-ring presence has continued to grow over the past few years. Many WWE fans believe it's time for Ford to break away from the Street Profits and create his own legacy. This isn't to say that Angelo Dawkins doesn't have potential to be a solo star, yeah. as Dawkins has continued to improve in the ring and he should be fine if WWE decide to break up the Street Profits. But Ford has an exciting move set, and his frog For splashes sure. up there with the very best version Facts. of the popular move. Oh Ford has God. shown in singles matches with the likes of Roman Reigns that he has star power as a single star, and more importantly, he can hold his own against the very best in WWE. Mm -hmm. Number two, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley has already reached great heights in WWE. Despite being only 26 years old, she's already won the women's title on two different brands. Ripley has been portraying a heel character as late as part of the Judgment Day faction, and this which allows has fans to see a more villainous side of Ripley, a side which she has thrived in. Ripley has years upon years left in WWE, and she is without question one of the most well-rounded wrestlers in the women's division. Mm -hmm. As WWE go forward into their new era, Ripley is likely to emerge as one of the faces of the new administration, and she is likely to be cemented there for a very long time. For sure. And number one, Austin Theory. Mm. When Vince McMahon announced his retirement from WWE, fans believed that one specific wrestler who would end up losing his push would be Austin Theory. Theory was McMahon's hand-picked chosen guy, and it was even reported that McMahon, as well as other WWE officials, believed that Theory could be the next John Cena. Theory got off to an interesting start in the new era, as he would randomly cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase on Seth Rollins for the US title, and he ended up losing his cash-in match. This traditionally signals the end of someone's push in WWE, mm -hmm. and fans feared the worst for him. But what followed was some excellently delivered character work. Theory now had an edge, and WWE went back to the drawing board with his character and presentation. Mm -hmm. To say that Theory is in a better place following losing the Money in the Bank briefcase is an understatement, as he's constantly main eventing Raw and getting huge wins over the likes of Seth Rollins. Theory has proven his critics wrong, and it looks like the new era in WWE is going to see wrestling fans witness Theory finally becoming one of WWE's top megastars. But they have it, folks. I honestly think he needs, he has to win at WrestleMania. John Cena cooked him. <laughs> John Cena cooked this this young man for no reason, bro. So if it is any time that John Cena does the job, it has to be for him, bro. He has to do the job for Austin Theory. And I hope they have a great match. I hope it's a really good match. I don't want him to do the job and the match is not that good or not memorable. He needs this. He needs this because if he doesn't get this, it's all for nothing. He needs this. It only makes sense for him to beat John Cena, man. It only makes sense. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how it happens. But this list, I can agree with a lot of these people on this list definitely are the future of WWE. It's just going to come down to Triple H and everyone involved, making sure that these individuals become the best versions of themselves on the main roster and carry the company moving forward. Because Roman ain't always going to be there. Seth's not always going to be there. Kevin Owens, they're not always going to be there. Sami Zayn, uh, Cody Rhodes, these guys not going to always be able to do it. So you got to look to the, the future. And the future is LA Knight, Solo Sokoa, Rhea Ripley, um braun breaker you know like this these these are the future austin theory they're the future of the company and you gotta put stock and investment into them if you want your company to flourish going forward so comment down below let me know what a uh, superstar wrestler are you looking forward to to being uh i guess you can say a main event talent man who do you think has the most appeal to become a future world champion in wwe male or female let me know down below who or who do you feel like they will be the next guy up or the next woman up but i appreciate all love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world and you're in the clutch world heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace